In this video, we're going to talk about theoretical probability as it relates to flipping a coin. And we're going to look at flipping a coin three times in a row. So if you think about it, if I flip a coin three times, the first time I flip, I could get a heads or a tails. Okay. The second time I flip, I could get another heads or another tails. And then the third time, another heads, another tails. So I'm going to write down all the different things that can happen. You can get three heads. A heads, a tails, a heads, a heads, a tails, a tails, and a heads, a heads, a tails. Okay. Or you can get three tails, a tails, a heads, a tails, a tails, a tails, a heads, a tail, a heads, a heads. So there are eight different outcomes that can happen when you are flipping a coin three times. Now, for those of you who are freaked out right now going, I would never be able to recreate this list. You don't have to recreate the list. So assume that you have been given this list and I'm telling you that these are all eight possibilities that can happen. Now, the question is, what is the probability? And let's talk again about um, notation for probability. We use P and parentheses. So what's the probability that we get um, three heads in a row? Well, there's only one way we can do that. One out of eight. Okay. So to actually figure out what this percent is, we take one divided by eight in our calculator, and I believe you're going to get 0.125, which is the same thing as 12.5%. Okay. Now let's think about it. What, was the, what would be the probability of getting three tails? It's going to be the same, right? Okay. The trickier part is when we talk about what's the probability of getting um, exactly one tail, right? Exactly one tail, or what's the probability of getting at least one tail? All right, these are two different questions, so let's talk about the difference in them. We want to know the probability of getting exactly one tail. So of my list of eight, I'm going to look to see how many have just one T. All right. There's one T, one T, and one T. So three, three out of eight is going to be getting exactly one T or one tails. Okay. If we take three and divide it by eight in our calculator, you are going to get 0.375, which is the same thing as 37 and a half percent. All right, now, at least one tail. Out of our eight, what we're curious about is all of those that have one T, two T's, or three T's. All right, so we already have my one T's are circled. Two T's and three T's. It looks like the only thing that we are excluding is getting all heads. So to get the probability of getting at least one tail, there are seven out of eight ways for that to happen, which would be the same thing as 0.875 if you put this in your calculator. All right. So the reason why this is considered theoretical probability is that you guys didn't see me flip a single coin. Right? We didn't do, you know, 30 trials and record our results. In theory, these are all eight outcomes that can happen. So in theory, the probability of getting three heads is one out of eight. And likewise, those probabilities are the same. All right. I hope this helps with theoretical probability.